In today's video, I want to show you how to deal with the calculated field data type in Microsoft Access. Here we have the orders table, and I'd like to add some fields to that. So I'm going to right click on the orders table and I pick on design view. This will work in Access 2000. Uh, I think the calculated field started in Access 2013 and Excel and, and Access 2016. I'm going to scroll down. Now you can put the field anywhere within the table. Here, I'm just putting it at the bottom, but you could put it anywhere. Here we have an order amount field. Let's say I'd like to have a sales tax, and I'd like the sales tax to be 6% of the order amount. I'm using 6% because I'm here in uh, Pennsylvania in the United States, and our sales tax is 6%. All right, so we'll call the field sales tax. I'm going to tab over to the data type column and I'm going to click on the pull down and notice how we have the calculated data type. I'm pretty sure it started in Access 2010, maybe 13, but I know it's been around at least since 2013. I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, the calculated type, uh, data type. You're going to get a really powerful window that's called the Expression Builder. Now this formula can be as simple or as complicated as you need it to be. Notice in the second column you have your field names. So I'm going to make this one nice and simple. I'll, I'll, I'll double click on order amount. Now, when you double click on a field here, it's going to put it into the expression builder. Now you could have typed that word order amount in, but I find it quicker to double click on the field. And also the brackets have to be there. And uh, when you double click on it, it puts the brackets there. Otherwise you'd have to type those in yourself. So then I'll say times 0 0.06, which is going to be 6%. Like I said, mathematically, this could be as simple or as complicated as you need it to be. And you could use other fields in the table. To, to get to the other fields, if that, they're not there, then I'll pick on the orders table. There's some uh, built-in functions you can use. There's a, a lot of the uh, access built-in functions. There's constants you can use. And there's operators like um, plus and minus and greater than or less than these kind of things, okay? So you can you know, build all the formula based on all those different components and make it as simple or as complicated as you need it to be. I'm going to click on OK. Now we'll give that um, formula a format and we'll make that a currency data type. Good. Um, let's try another calculated field. So up here I have a field that's called order date. See it? And maybe the due date is going to be 30 days beyond the order date. So I'll type in due date for the field name. And I'm going to go ahead and make that a calculated field. Good. Now we're back to the expression builder. So I'll double click on order date and I'll say plus 30. Now when you add a number to a date, it's going to assume that it's going to be in a days. So when I say plus 30, it's going to be 30 days. I'll click on OK. Uh, so let's do another one. We'll have the, um, the line total. For the line total, we'll make that a calculated field. Now, in this case, we'll take the freight plus the order amount Plus, now I want to use the sales tax field that I built before. Notice how it's not in there yet. So let me show you what you do. Uh, I'm going to pick on the word cancel right now, and we'll come back to that field a little bit later on. In fact, I'm going to delete that field. What we're going to do is we're going to save the table. This will be important. I'm going to save the table. By saving the table, it'll make these other fields available for us. So this time I'll type in line total. We'll make that a calculated field. Now I'll double click on freight plus the order amount plus the sales tax. Notice how the sales tax and the due date are there now because I had uh, saved the table. So you can certainly use other calculated fields inside of a new calculated field. I'll click on OK there. So when I go into the expression builder, 
we can make that comp uh, we can make that as complicated as possible or as simple as you would like as well now let's see the results of what we did i'm going to go ahead and close out of the um the orders table and of course we'll save it now those fields would also be available in a query or on a form or on a report but let's see what they look like so um let's come over here here's the order amount now let's do some simple math here so i'll type in six uh i'll type in six hundred dollars now six hundred dollars times six percent that should give me thirty six dollars here and you can see it recalculated when i typed in the number for the order amount and then it took the order amount plus the sales tax plus the freight let's see what the freight is 3238 plus 600 plus 36 and that's why we have 668.38 over there in the line total so that recalculated as well let's try it with a round number let's type in $1,000 there okay so we have 60 so 1060 then let's take a look at what the freight is the freight is 1161 1161 plus the 1060 is going to give us 1071 so you can see how um, the sales tax recalculated the line total recalculated as well now let's go back uh i, I notice how i have to recap reformat the line total as a currency field but that's not a big deal if you're watching this video i'm sure you know how to reformat your your fields now notice the due date let's change the order date as new, well let's put in a new order so i'll come down here and pick on a new order and um we'll pick a customer and i'll pick an employee now let's say for the order date i want the current date a keyboard shortcut to get the current date is control semicolon just like you would use in excel i'll do control semicolon and that is the date that i'm recording this video now let's come over here and uh for the freight i'll put in zero for the order amount i'll type in 100 dollars let's see what happened with our calculated fields the sales tax became six dollars that right that's six percent of the 100 the order the due date became um 213 that is correct that's 30 days from the current date so the due date came out to be proper and then the line total is the 100 plus the six dollars and we got the 106 dollars so when you go back to design view on a table now you can change a field into a calculated field and then it would bring up the expression builder or when you add a new field you can change the data type to a calculated field and then you would use the expression builder to um to build your calculation and it could be a really simple formula or a more advanced formula hopefully you got some insight on how to build a calculated field here in microsoft access